Hey, baby, what are you wearing? <laughs> I accidentally sent that to Dad. <sighs> it's going to be a few more years of counseling for both of us. Just kidding, obviously, I didn't send it to anybody. But did you realize that your text messages could potentially be brought up in court? And if you're in love with someone so much in love that you marry them, uh, those text messages that you're sending back and forth could actually be brought up as evidence in uh, divorce proceedings. Yes, so uh, be careful about what you send electronically. Be careful about what you say anyway, because you never know if they're going to be recording your voice, recording your face, or potentially taking that text that you thought was benign and using it against you. Be careful when you write anything to anybody, anywhere. That's kind of the bottom line. So we've detailed exactly what could possibly happen to you. And if, even if you're not married, if you plan on being married, or let's just say you know someone who's married or potentially in a really bad marriage and they're heading for divorce, you might want to let them know about this article. Smartphone and text messages being used in divorce court. I'm going to go ahead and plus one it, just like a few of our nomies did. And according to the American Academy of Matrimonial Lawyers, a recent survey claims that 92% of the 1,600 attorneys that responded said they had seen an increase in, in a, admissible technology being deemed accessible in a court of law, or I'm sorry, not just accessible, acceptable. There is certainly a difference there. Um, you've got to be careful about doing anything uh, with uh, what you have in your head. Sometimes it's good to keep it up here. Don't let it out, even if you're feeling emotional. And if you don't know how to control your emotions, you may want to look at the other article we did today, as a matter of fact, on LockerGnome.com, how to control your emotions online. But this one, linked in the description, it really explains what you got to watch out for and what's been happening and uh, what's likely to happen to you. So keep her good, keep her easy, don't send anything that you would not want to see used against you. And trust me, this is words of wisdom. Don't say something to anybody unless you expect the world would eventually see it. It's the, my number one privacy tip, but certainly it could save your bacon and a whole lot more.